the king of pop, he's posthumously pitching Pepsi. Uh, well, let's, let's talk to Wall Street Journal's Mike Esterl. Morning. Tell, tell us a little bit about how this, what, 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 we're going to see his face on a, on a lot of Pepsi cans, yeah? Yeah, or at least his uh, silhouette. Um, it's kind of, a, it's almost like an etching. Um, they're going to be rolling out about a billion Pepsi cans, um, in, first in China, then the U.S., and then about 20 other countries around the world. Um, and uh, this is kind of going down memory lane for, for Pepsi. Um, they uh, uh, signed Michael Jackson back in 1984 to what was then a record $5 million sponsorship deal. Um, and, Mike, let's uh, he actually ended up go back quick and, and let's take a look at the voice of Pepsi for, uh, for, let, for more than a decade. Mike, let's let's go back quick and, and take a look at uh, some video we've got here. Mike, there you go. You're talking about it. Once upon a time, the king of pop, he was already pitching pop. And now it's 25 years later. So how did this deal yeah, really, and, really and, come I mean, about? The difference is, obviously, is uh, he's no longer alive. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, on Madison Avenue, it's always an interesting debate about whether or not um, to, uh, to sort of resurrect the dead. Um, to sell products, and, so, uh, and the jury's kind of out on how, how successful that is. Uh, Mike, tell us how this deal came about. Uh, well, obviously a long history, um, and uh, uh, Pepsi, which had gotten away from using music as, a, as sort of a main marketing tool, um, returned, started returning to that last year, and uh, they ended up spending about $60 million to get the sponsorship for the X Factor. Um, in the U.S. and as part of those conversations, they reached out. They they spoke with uh, Michael Jackson's estate. Uh, they ran a commercial um, during X Factor where they they kind of replayed all of the music icons that used to promote um, Pepsi, including Michael Jackson. And out of those conversations, um, they all agreed they would do something bigger this year. Of course, Mr. Jackson had a very famous mishap during a filming of a, of a was it a 1984 Pepsi commercial yeah uh, yeah it was during uh, during a filming of a commercial um, his uh, his hair caught fire um, and uh, his his scalp got burned um, created um, obviously a lot of news um, whether you know bad or good obviously bad for Michael Jackson but um, certainly created a lot of buzz great Mike thank you so much it's a fascinating story it's on WSJ.com appreciate you joining us we'll be following that one